By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to breathe for your anxiety, and if you wait till the end of the video, I'm gonna give you an extra bonus. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 24 years. I'm gonna give you realistic advice based on my experience and also supported by clinical research. Now, an anxiety attack is a very scary situation the first time it happens to you, and you need to understand that you're gonna experience fear, you're gonna experience apprehension, your heart rate is gonna go up, you're almost gonna feel as if the world is caving down on you. And the only way to really get rid of it is to get rid of the thing that possibly is causing your anxiety attack. But what you need to understand is an anxiety attack is really part of your nervous system freaking out. It's your sympathetic nervous system. So I'm gonna show you a method of breathing that stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system to combat that and can give you instant results. So essentially what we're doing is we're using breathing as a way to calm our nervous system down. Now there are many different ways to do breathing techniques. There's belly breathing, there's box breathing, there's deep breathing, but in my experience the best type of breathing is super slow deep breathing. You'll often see this in other videos such as the Wim Hof type of breathing techniques. And I have found this personally useful for patients that suffer with anxiety attacks. So let me show you how to do it. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna sit in a chair or lie down on a table, whatever you prefer. It really is gonna depend upon where you're located when you have the attack. And what's gonna happen is you start by breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, and you're gonna let your belly expand and get bigger. So you're gonna start out with belly breathing, but you're not gonna stop there. To really stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, then you're gonna keep inhaling and inhaling and inhaling until the point where you can't get any more air into your lungs. And then when you can't get any more air into your lungs, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a slightly deeper breath even than that. So watch me when I inhale, watch how long it takes for me to inhale and get the max amount of air into my lungs and then observe how I exhale. So here we go, ready? Now you saw how long that took. That was a fairly deep breath. And I started breathing in instantly with my belly. My belly expanded, but then I started expanding my lungs. And what happens is my lungs from the front to back started expanding. So in other words, I'm doing chest breathing, but I'm not just doing chest breathing up high. I'm expanding my lower rib cage, my middle rib cage. I'm imagining my entire ribs exploding out, almost like the Death Star exploding when Luke Skywalker put that thing into that little hole. That was the greatest movie, wasn't it? And then when you exhale, you just mentally chill out, let the air come out as fast as it possibly can, naturally. So again, <sighs> You'll see me shrug my shoulders when I do that, so. And what you'll do is you can do 10 deep breaths, you can do 20. I personally like to do 30. I find at the end of 30, it's been about three minutes and it's amazing how good you feel, how calm and relaxed you feel. And if you have anxiety attacks, very often this type of breathing really makes a tremendous difference. So you can do this daily, once a day, which I recommend because I really believe that most people that have anxiety attacks and panic attacks need to do some form of body maintenance on themselves, mental maintenance as well. And so this works well, but if you're having a panic attack or an anxiety attack, sometime during the day you can always try this and use it. So now before I give you the bonus, 
Make sure and give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like this video. If you have any questions in regard to the breathing, just ask in the comment section down below. So the bonus for anxiety is this. Why are you not taking magnesium? Magnesium is a wonderful thing for anxiety. Now, we should not be taking magnesium supplements if we were eating a great diet. Unfortunately, magnesium is found in certain foods that people tend to not eat a lot of. For example, leafy green vegetables like spinach and red leaf lettuce, avocados and nuts, legumes, seeds, bananas. Bananas. Ooh, bananas. If you're concerned about bananas, and I know a lot of people are because of the sugar content and 10 other reasons, I'm going to put a link down below to another video that I did regarding the safety and effectiveness of bananas. But all these foods have a lot of magnesium in them and we're just not eating a lot of them unfortunately. So what I recommend is to supplement your diet with a magnesium supplement. Now I put a link for Amazon down below. I'm an Amazon affiliate so I do get a little commission from telling you this but magnesium citrate is probably the best for you because it's easily absorbed. For most people, sometimes magnesium gives them problems. There's different types of magnesium that you could see, but try magnesium citrate first. My experience has been that seems to be the one that's the most easily absorbable and most people tolerate the best. You could take the tablets throughout the day or you could take them all at once. I recommend take them with food throughout the day and you want to aim for about 1200 milligrams of magnesium citrate. And what the magnesium citrate does, it almost re just relaxes your nervous system and relaxes your body and will help you with the anxiety. So what's your opinion regarding the breathing technique that I showed you as well as the magnesium? Let me know what your experience is in the comment section down below. Lastly, do this. Take control of your own health. You can do this. Try the breathing methods. Give it time. Try to learn about your body. Take the magnesium. See what types of effects it has. I know that there's a solution for anxiety and I believe that you can solve it.